if you're not doing anything, you're not going to see success. You have to put in the work first and then the rewards come. All right. It's just like when somebody starts their own business and you know, they are in the hole, they've taken out a loan to open up this smoothie shop that they want to open up and they've put hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars into this business. Do you think that they just sit there in the store as soon as they open doors, just waiting for people to come in? No, they've gone out and advertised. They've word of mouth advertised. They've told everybody about their new business that they're opening up. They've made billboards. They've, you know, purchased ads in the newspaper. They've done all of these things because they are thousands and thousands of dollars in the hole. And they know that they're not going to see an actual profit for years. So as soon as they open their doors, they are killing it, you know, like regardless of whether a person comes into the smoothie shop the first day, do you think that they close down their doors? Like when Delta doesn't have somebody, sorry, my cat is crazy. When Delta doesn't have somebody show up and take their seats on the airplane, do you think that Delta is like, sorry guys, we're not full. We're just going to shut our plane down and not go to our destination. No, they don't. They keep going. Who cares who is on board and who is not? You're on board, you're here, and you all have a why. And that why is what you have to revert back to every single day. You have to get up and do it regardless of whether you feel like it, regardless of whether you're sick, whether your kids are sick, whether you're unmotivated, whether you don't have the time, you have to make time to get it done. Because people who don't make time to get things done will never become successful, okay? Never. Think about an athlete. Do you think that every single athlete out there is born with this amazing talent? No, they've had to work their butts off for it. Like work every single day, like two and three workouts instead of just one. They have to surpass other people that are doing the same thing that they're doing because those other people are working hard. They have to constantly, constantly work at being great because they know that they have a dream they know they want to be successful. They know they want to win the Olympics or whatever, and they're going to do anything to get it. So some of you guys are sitting there thinking, well, it's hard. This business is hard. Okay, I get it. It is a little challenging at sometimes, but, and there are ups and downs, but nobody got into the businesses that they're in and become multimillionaires because it's easy, because if it was easy, then everybody would be doing it. If there was a secret recipe to success, everybody would be doing it and everybody would be rich. But the people who work their butts off every single day and say, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to make success, success regardless of what happens in my life. Those are the people that become successful. Those are the people that you guys need to look up to for inspiration and motivation. Sit down and watch a motivational video every single day if that's what it takes. Watch one five times a day if that's what it takes because you are worth more than what your situation is right now. You guys all joined because your situation that you were in was not what you wanted. For me, it was when we found out that we were pregnant with twins and we had just bought a house and we were like, oh crap, how are we going to pay the bills? And I did not want to go back to work full time. I didn't want to leave my babies at home. I don't want somebody else raising them. And so for me to sit here and tell you guys that posting on social media is hard, no. Hard is not being able to put food on the table for your kids. Hard is hanging up sheets around your window to keep the heat in. Hard is not like having a car to go to work where you have to go in order to come home and buy your baby's diapers and formula. That is hard. This is not hard. Posting on social media is not hard asking people or telling people or sharing your excitement to the people on your timeline, that is not hard. It's a piece of cake compared to the struggles that are really out there, you guys. Hard is having thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in credit card debt and not being able to do anything. That's hard. This is not hard. You got in the situation for a reason and have that like fuel your fire every single day because I know for me, my why, I would take a bullet for. I would take a bullet for my babies any day of the week. So posting on social media and asking people to try my products when I know that they're absolutely incredible is not hard. That's way easier than taking a bullet for my kids, all right? 
New choices equals new results, which equals transformation. So if you're stuck between a rock and a hard place right now, and you don't know what you're doing, you need to make some new choices. And by making those new choices continually, that becomes a new habit, which gives you new results, which gives you success. It gives you a transformation, all right? But if you're doing the same thing every single day and it's not working, you need to switch it up. Okay. And there's a lot of different ways that we can, we can promote this business. We can do it on social media. You can have wrap parties. You can go host an event somewhere. Some of those are quite a little on the expensive side if you're not wanting to pay any money, but there are some free events. You can um, have a joint party with somebody. So if you know somebody that sells jewelry, ask them to have a joint party with you. You go and, you know, have your wrap party and they go and have their jewelry party and you guys work together, have her, have the jewelry person invite her friends over for it works. Because a lot of times we feel like, oh, I've posted on social media. I don't have anybody else to talk to. You always have people to talk to. You always have new potentials because there are new people seeing your posts every single day. And if you're friending and following new people, your audience is constantly growing. So there are tons of different ways to work this business and you guys need to be using all of them. Like kind of like the recipe thing that I've talked about before. If you have a recipe for brownies and you don't put the brownie mix in there, it's not going to taste like brownies. You have to use all of the ingredients. If you don't put the egg in there, it's not going to be as good. You have to use everything that this company gives you all of our resources in order to really take things to the top ambassadors in this company don't just sit on their butt and only post on social media. Maybe some of them have, but the ones that get there fast are the ones that are out talking to people every single day. They're blitzing people at every single drive through that they go to. And if you guys don't know what blitzing is, we have these massive business cards that look like this. Okay. And it says, have you heard of that crazy wrap thing? And on the back, it says, this is what it does. And there's a before and after picture and a spot for your um, contact information. So I hand these out literally everywhere I go. Um, Kayla was with me at freaking conference. You guys, I was in Florida, not even an hour away from headquarters. Okay. And we were walking out of the conference the first day and some guy stopped. And I just so happened to be at the light, like waiting to cross the street. And he's like, what is this conference going on? Why is everybody wearing green and black? And I'm like, oh, it's, we have an event here. It's for, it works. And he's like, what is that? What is that? I'm sorry. You live in Florida and you don't know what it works is. Like we have a huge corporate office and tons of people that work out of Florida and you don't know what it works is. And so I blitzed him. I handed him a card. And he kind of looked at it like, what is, I obviously don't need this because he was like a little tiny dude, you know? And I'm like, we have tons of stuff. We don't just have wraps. Like we have over 40 products. We have ProFit for men. We have all different kinds of stuff. And he was like, that's pretty cool. And that's it. That's all I did. I just handed him a card, walked away. You guys will get better at that. But that is blitzing. And that's the best way to get people that are out of your warm and cold market, that are out of your network, into your network. Okay. I always ask people, if I'm not in a hurry, I always ask people to add me on Facebook. I always put my name as it is listed on Facebook. So if you're weird like me and have a middle initial on your Facebook, that, that needs to be on your card or on your magnet or on your sticker decal that you get for your car. Put things the way that they are on your Facebook so that people can easily find you. Hold on, let me read what Kayla said. Yes, see, paying for your food, like going through a drive through doing a going through a gas station, like whatever. Blitzing can be literally anywhere. I blitz everybody I can. Grocery store, it doesn't matter. So take a second to think about this. <clears throat> people without goals get used, get used by other people that have them. People don't have goals. People that, sorry, I can't talk tonight. People that don't have goals work for people that do. Without goals, we are directionless. Think of your goal as your chart, all right? If you don't have a chart written out, if you don't have a chart printed out or on eSuite or whatever, and you don't know where you're going, you're like a boat at sea with no captain. Like literally, you can have the best airplane or the most expensive car or the best ship. But if your captain doesn't know where you're going, you're literally just going to sit and spin around in water. 
So if you don't have a chart, print one out ASAP tonight. Like you can find them on eSuite. Um, go to Document Library as soon as you log in on eSuite and print out a diamond chart, all of you, whether you have distributors or not, because that needs to be your goal. Diamond is where the money is, okay? Not only do you start, not only do you get commissions like everybody else does, but you start getting commissions off of more commissions off of your team. You start getting these things called cab bonuses and they're literally ridiculous, okay? Diamond is where everybody needs to be. All right, mindset. Let's talk about mindset for a second. If you wake up in the morning and you're just like, I don't really want to post today. I don't really want to talk to people. That's going to become a habit for you guys if you do it more than one time. Like, especially if you do it more than one time in a week, because you're going to get used to it. You need to get up in the morning, watch a motivational video, look, have a picture or a sticky note or something about your why or your goal in this company and use that as your fuel to start posting right out of the, right out of the bed, like, or in the bed, post while you're still in the bed. Everybody loves to see people working from their beds. I mean, I used to be jealous of that. Like what? She gets to lay in her bed and work. Like that is our life now. Um, and it would have never been possible without this company. So you have to decide whether you're going to be successful or not. No one else makes that decision but you. It, it doesn't matter whether you've worked really, really hard or whatever. People that are successful decide that they're going to be successful years before they're ever successful. They decide that they have a goal and they're going to make it happen and they work towards that goal every single day. But if you're sitting there questioning yourself as to, am I worth this? I don't, can I do this? Obviously you've already got negativity in your mind and negativity is contagious. It is contagious and it's like poison to your mind, to your team's mind, to everything. If I got on this zoom and was like, Hey guys, um, I don't really know what to talk about tonight. I'm just really not motivated. Like you guys would be like, what? That was our zoom. Like, I don't feel motivated now. But if I get on here and I'm like pumped up and I'm talking to you guys' ears off, you want to get off of here and kick a door down, or I do. Um, so the pro goes to work. The pro, the, the star athlete, the pro goes to work, regardless of the conditions, regardless of whether you have sick kids at home, regardless of whether you feel like you don't have time, regardless of whether you're tired, who cares? Get off your butt and go to work. Am I being too loud? No, it's just not going Okay, sorry. Um, there's always going to be ups and, down with, ups and downs with this business, but if you let the downs get to you, they can seriously poison the rest of your month, the rest of your year. I mean, for me, last, last year was tough for me. It, the end of last year, especially with the election going on and everything, I felt like I was getting nowhere every single day, but I still got up and I did the same thing. And now my business is taking off. The seeds that I've spent months and months planting are coming back to me. People are messaging me. This is not just a posting game, you guys. You have to be in it. You have to be full on in it. It's okay if you don't wanna spam people, that's fine. Don't spam people, but make your posts personable make it so that people can relate to you because if you're not relatable, people are going to think that they also can't do this. People are going to have the mindset that you portray. Okay. So if you portray an awesome mindset and you're fired up every single day and you love your life and you get to do this and this and that, and you've got money to go to the grocery store. I always talk about organic blueberries because that's one of the things that I love about this company. It's something that's so small that I've never been able to afford organic blueberries and they're so much better and bigger. I don't know if you guys have seen the difference between organic and regular blueberries, but the regular ones are all like smushy and half molded and the organic ones are like huge and tasty. And I get to buy my kids organic blueberries. It's the little things like that, that you guys need to be focusing on it. Who cares if you bought a house or a car that's unrelatable. A lot of people don't think that they can buy a house or a car. A lot of people never think that they're going to make their $99 back. I didn't. So talk about the small things. Talk about being able to fill your gas tank up all the way instead of just halfway. Talk about being able to go to the grocery store and stand in line at the checkout and not have that bottomless pit 
in your stomach about, oh my gosh, I wonder how much this is going to be. I wonder if I'm going to have to put things back. Like, I don't, we don't have that worry anymore. And that is what people are looking for. People are looking for not having to be worried about everyday life. You know, they can live without a new car. They can live without a new house, but they can't live without food for their kids. They can't live without water. They can't live without a roof over their kid's head or, you know, being able to supply them with the food that they need or formula or diapers. Okay, sorry, I got off on a tangent. Um, everybody in the world has a list of things that they should do, but very few people actually go out and do it. There's all the, always those people that are like, you know, I, I really should lose weight. I should go to the gym. I should go work out. I should work, work harder, work more. But not everybody takes it and runs with it. And that is the difference between successful people and people that just sit on their butts waiting for a change. A change is not going to come smack you in the face. Like, it's not going to be like, here I am. You've been waiting for me. No, you have to work for it and you have to work hard. But the work in this business is not hard. Okay. It takes hard work to get to the top, but the work is not hard. And that's what you guys have to remember. You're on social media anyway, so why not make money doing it, you know? Um, I heard a quote when I was listening to a video earlier, and it says, the road to success is through commitment and through the strength to drive through that commitment when it gets hard. So a lot of people think like, okay, if I commit to this, then it's going to change. And then something bad happens. And they're like, man, that just messed up their commitment or their commitment just goes out the window because something bad happens and now they're all negative and yada, yada, yada. But the real successful people are the people that drive through that and tell the devil to go screw off somewhere because you're going to make it happen regardless. The devil works every single day in my life. I mean, every single day, like there, there's been, this has been months ago, but there's been a week where I literally sat and cried every single day in my bedroom because I was like, I cannot do this with twins. Like I am exhausted. My business is not going anywhere. I, they won't stop screaming. They won't start tearing up crap. Like in the house, I obviously can't, I'm, I suck at baby proofing because they're all over the place. But that is when I realized that my why, why I joined this company was becoming my excuse. Okay, people don't join this business because they have all the time in the world. People don't join this business because they have all the money in the world. People join this business for a reason. And you have to stop making your why your excuse. Because when you start making your why your excuse, you're going to make it every single day. That's going to become a ritual, a habit for you guys. You're going to talk yourself out of posting one time. And then two hours later, when you're supposed to be posting, you're going to push it off again because of something like, there are so many times during the day where I completely ignore my husband, not on purpose, but just he's talking to me and I'm so focused in posting that I don't even hear him. But if I stop for a second, I know me and you may not be like this, but I'm like super ADD. So if I stop for a second, that post is going to be waiting on my phone an hour and a half later. And then I'm going to remember, Oh crap. I never finished posting. And I'm talking about posting a lot tonight, but posting is really, really important. You can't just post one time a day and expect it to reach everybody on your Facebook because of the algorithm. Like you have to post several times a day and not just about it works, but have it works incorporated into your life. Don't be a walking billboard. Pam Souter said that everybody needs and wants these products, but people do not want to be sold to. You cannot sell these products. You have to share them. You have to share your love and excitement about the products. And that is what's going to get you potentials. People on the team always, I get messages almost every single day talking about, I don't ever have people like or comment my posts or I never get messages. Well, number one, you're speaking that into existence because your mindset is negative right now. So speak something else into existence. I wake up in the morning. And I'm like, I am freaking black diamond. I am black diamond. I'm going to build our dream home. I'm going to do this and that. And it sounds absolutely crazy because some days I feel like I'm never going to get there. But if I start out feeling like I'm just a distributor or feeling like I'm just Ruby or just diamond, I'm never going to push myself to go farther. But if I hold myself accountable and everybody else that I've told, like you guys, 
if, if you guys hold me accountable, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to continue to do it because I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop. Like my why is not going to become my excuse. Never in a million years will I sit and tell my kids that mommy didn't become successful because you guys were running around like crazy. Mommy can't put food on the table because you guys want to not nap during the day. Like I, that's, that's just silly. And it sounds silly, but you guys know that you do it. You know that you do it sometimes. Stop doing that. You don't achieve big things by accidents. It's persistence and mindset and motivation and dedication and commitment. It's all of those things. Those are why the people that are at the top of this company are at the top of this company. Um, so I wanted to give a few tips on things that I learned over conference and a leader Zoom that I was on. But that first part of the Zoom was kind of motivation to get you fired up. I don't know whether it worked or not, but it worked for me. Um, all right, so let me bring my notes up about the Zoom. Okay. Pam Souter said, you have to decide what rank you are before you get to that rank. If you have an emerald mindset, then you'll never be higher than an emerald. And that speaks volumes to me because for a long time, I never thought I was going to get Ruby. And when I started claiming Ruby, that's when Ruby happened. Ruby happened the month that my twins were born. You guys, I was crazy busy, new mom, didn't know what I was doing. But the second that they were put in my arms, I knew, I knew that I was not going back to work. I cannot leave them here. Like they deserve, if I, even if I don't deserve it, they deserve everything, everything that this world has to offer. And it gives me chills just thinking about it because when my mindset changed, everything changed. I started having people come out of the woodworks that had never talked to me before, that had never liked my post before, just because I decided for myself that I was worth more. And that's what you guys have to do. The biggest mistake that you can make is to sit down for a second, for a minute, for an hour. It doesn't matter. And when I say sit down, I don't mean like really like legit sit down. I mean like take a break from your business. That is the absolute worst thing that you can do. There have been so many distributors that say that they're going to take a break and then they get comfortable with their break and they never come back. And that's really it. It's comfortable. You're comfortable in the position right now that you are in. You may not like it. You may have bigger goals for yourself, but you're comfortable and that's why you're not working hard. Make yourself uncomfortable. Make your, think about it. Where are you going to be in a year or in five years or in 10 years without this business? Where are you going to be? You might get a good job somewhere. You might have health benefits. You might be on salary pay, but are you ever going to be what you want to be? Are you ever going to be able to grasp those dreams and make them become a reality by just sitting down? No, you're not because this company is gold. You guys have your hands on gold. And if you don't take the oppor opportunity and run with it, somebody else is going to, somebody else is going to message that potential and sign them because they're working and you're not, and they're going to the top and you won't. And you have to be okay with that. If you sit down, that's the biggest mistake that you can make because once you decide to get back up and start running again, you're going to find out that people have not only lost trust in you because they thought you were so passionate about this company and then you just fall off the face of the earth, but they're also going to a have already signed up with somebody else. They're not going to believe you. They're not going to trust you. And you're going to have a really hard time getting back to running because you've been slowed down for so long. I mean, think about it. When you go to the gym and you go every single day and you bust out weights every single day, I obviously don't go to the gym, so I'm not going to speak any kind of special terminology because I don't <laughs> know anything. Um, but if you go every single day and then you stop for two months, when you go back to the gym two months later, do you think that you're going to be able to lift the same amount of weight? as you were two months ago? No, because your body's gotten weak. You can't do that. You can't just sit down and then expect to get up and start right where you left off. You're gonna have to start over. Um, another thing is, sorry, Oliver just won't go to sleep tonight. No one can motivate you and bring your passion back. The only way that you can stay juiced is to be in the action of the business. Look at your why, go to events, plug into team calls, plug into corporate calls, dream big, 
get your dream board out, but never stop dreaming and never stop plugging in because the second you do that, it's like falling off with a horse. You're, you're there to ride, but you've fallen off because you're not plugged in and you're not fueling your fire. You know, like a fire doesn't stay lit forever. It goes out. And that's what these corporate calls are there to do for us every week. That's what the dream board is there to do for you every day. When you wake up and look at it, it's to fuel your fire because I know it's easy to get discouraged. I've been there. Um, and that was from Pam Souter as well. Um, okay. Another one she said was you are the only variable in this business. And I love a quote. It says like, you are your only problem, but you are also the only solution. Think about that for a second, because that is a powerful quote. You are the only problem, but you are also the only solution, okay? If you can't do it, it's never going to happen, all right? Somebody else is going to do it, but not for you. It's just going to happen for somebody else because they've worked hard for it. Everybody starts with the same business builder kit. They were talking about this at conference, like, do you think that Stephanie and Joel Dunn, number one income earners in the company, they're black diamonds, which means that they make over $100,000 a month with it works. Do you think that they got a special business builder kit when they joined? Do you think that they, Mark and Cindy Pentecost slipped them something in their business kit? Here, you can take off like super fast. We're going to make you be successful, but everybody else is going to get a crappy kit. No, we all got the same kit. And you guys, Stephanie and Joel Dunn didn't even get the kit we get now. They didn't have blitz cards. They didn't have but 15, 20 products when they started. And now we have over 40. So it we can do this. You can do this and you are worthy of this, but you are the only person that is going to make yourself realize that you can do this. Okay. I can sit and talk till my face turns blue, but it's up to you guys to get off of this zoom and actually put in the work to become successful because I'm going to the top with or without you, all of you. And I love all of you guys, but you are not going to hold me back. So another thing that Pam Sauter talked about and everybody else is don't focus on the quitters. Do not focus on people that join this business and don't have what it takes for this business or think they don't have what it takes or don't put in the effort. Do not do that to yourself. Just enroll more people. That's why the steps to success are here. Three distributors and four loyal customers need to be your goal every single month. If you don't get it that month, that's great. Try and double up on it next month. But if you're constantly bringing in new blood, there is no way that you cannot be successful in this company. All right. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. She said, let go and let God don't drag people along if they don't want this. Um, so yeah, that, that, I don't even have to touch on that because that is good by itself. Mm, all right. She also said, when you lose motivation, think about what else you would be doing. Think about what you'd be doing right now if you didn't have it work. So we kind of talked about this already, but do you want to work until you retire at 65 or 70 years old? No, I don't like that. I mean, think about it. Think about all of the things that you're going to miss. You're going to miss your little kids first steps because you're at work and some daycare watcher is, is seeing it instead of you. You're going to miss their you know, daddy daughter dance. You're going to miss their mommies and cupcakes or whatever they have at school. You're going to miss their first play or their first ballet practice because you are too busy working for somebody else's dream and not working for your own because that's all it is. That's all these big corporations are is somebody sat down and decided to make this company McDonald's for instance. All right. Somebody had to sit down and say, okay, we're going to make a place called McDonald's and we're going to have burgers that taste really good but are really bad for you and we're just going to keep doing it until we have mcdonald's all over the world but one person made that idea and now that one person is rich and all of those people that are working in the mcdonald's are making minimum wage and i know because i worked at mcdonald's for like six freaking years and it was awful actually i love the people i work with but I mean, in general, I never got anywhere. I never really got raises and I was a manager and I barely made minimum wage. And if it wasn't for this business, I would still be making a minimum wage salary. I, there is no other business in the world that you can walk into and say, you know what? I'm going to have a thousand dollar raise this month. 
can I have a thousand dollar raise this month? They're going to laugh at you in your face. But with this company, you can do that. You can give yourself a thousand dollar raise if you want to. And if you work hard enough to get it, but nothing comes without work. You have to understand that you have to put in the work in order to see that success. Now, some of you guys are like, well, I just joined for 200, 300, $500 a month. Cool. Then make your $500 a month. But for me, once I saw the potential that this business had to offer, once I started making $100 a month, I was like, I wonder if I can make 200. And then I made 200. And I was like, I wonder if I can make 500. If I can make 500, I can go part time. And sure enough, I went Ruby, started making $500 a month, the, the month that the twins were born, and I dropped back to part time. And then I sat there for probably five or six months. And then I hit diamond. And then I hit double diamond right after that. And double diamond, you guys, is an average of five to $6,000 a month. And that's when I, I looked at my supervisor and was like, I quit. I quit. I'm not going to be here putting in, you know, 30 hours a week for barely nothing when I'm making more from working on my phone and posting on social media during the day than I am here with you guys slaving my butt off. So remember that. Put yourself in a position and think about where you would be. Perception is everything, okay? And try and think about where you would be in a year or two years or five years if you never joined this business. And if you're not happy with how that looks, you need to work your butt off for this business because this is the only thing, the only thing that I have found. I mean, if you guys know of a winning lottery ticket that I can go buy right now and be sure to win, you need to let me know. But other than this, like we have our hands on gold. I cannot express it enough. And a lot of you guys won't ever see it. No offense, but some of you won't ever see it because you're not dedicated enough. You're not willing to put in enough work to ever get there. So you're just going to sit at a hundred dollars a month and claim that this company doesn't work. No, it's not the company that doesn't work. It's not the products that don't work. It's you that doesn't work. Okay. These products work and they are the bomb. All right. People love them, but when they're not used as directed, you have people come back and say, I didn't really get rap results. Well, did you drink water? Did you take pictures so you can see your rep results? All of these things that aren't being done is why the products don't work. So it's not the products that's not working. It's you. It's you're not doing things the right way. It's the same with this business. If you don't put in the work, it's never going to happen. All right. Um, I think that that is about it. I wanted to read one thing by from Amanda McGee that she posted a while back that I read over every once in a while. Um, it says, are you scared, scared of failure, scared what people will say behind your back to your face, scared that you'll annoy your friends and family? What will they think about me needing an extra income? These are all normal concerns that many people feel. Want to know what I'm more scared of? Not being there for my first of my kids, not their first day of kindergarten, first class party, not being able to afford vacations, not being able to afford sports for both, not being able to provide the birthdays and Christmas that I prayed that I would be able to, not being able to afford their car insurance, much less cars, their equipment for sports that gets oh so expensive. You get to choose what you're scared of, but choose wisely. All right. That is what I'm going to end with tonight. So I hope that this gave you some fire. Um, I know that it's easy to lose that, but you guys have to, I mean, go on my YouTube channel and watch these Zooms over again. Go YouTube motivational videos. There are tons of people that I love to listen to. Um, Tony Robbins is one of them. He's one of my favorites. Les Brown, it's L-E-S Brown. He's one of my favorites. Um, hold on, let me think of the other ones. I have them written down. Okay, Joel Olstein, he's a preacher, but he's really good if you're into like um, the Christian thing, he's really good. Jim Rohn, he's good too, and his last name is R-O-H-N. Joyce Myers, Eric Thomas, love Eric Thomas. He sounds like he's yelling at you all the time and it just gets you so fired up. Eric Thomas is amazing. Um, Tyrese Gibson. Y'all know Tyrese? He does motivational videos. 
Tyrese, like licks his lips a lot, Tyrese, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, he does motivational videos and they're awesome. So just go on YouTube and search motivation and fuel yourself in the morning because whatever you feel in the first 20 minutes of your day is how your mind is going to be set for the entire rest of the day. All right, you have, like when they say, hey, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? That's what that means, is because you are planting good seeds or bad seeds as soon as you wake up. Your first 20 to 30 minutes of your day is what determines the rest of your day. And if you wake up pissed off at the world and not ready to do anything, I guarantee that you won't do anything that entire day. But if you wake up and let somebody tell you that you are worth this, that you deserve more, that you can go to the top, like you are going to work harder to get it because you believe you were told that as soon as you woke up, you believe you can go to the top. And I know for a fact that every single one of you guys can go to the top, but it's going to take work and dedication. So if you haven't done so already, print off the diamond chart and start working towards that. It's not like the diamond has to be reached at the end of this month. It's not that kind of promotion. You each have your own certain amount of days to get it. So if you want to text me or message me and let me know when your due date is, because again, it's different for everybody. So I can't tell you when your due date is. Um, but if you want to text me and message me, I will help you as much as I can. You see this cat in the background being crazy, but print out a roadmap because if you don't have a roadmap, you're not going to go anywhere. You're just going to spin in circles and then you're going to be signing all these people and you're not going to know what to do with them. And then you're not going to like have, you're not going to, be able to grasp the potential that this business has. For instance, if you sign 47 loyal customers and you've got three distributors under you that you need, and one of those distributors has two distributors, then you're boxed for Ruby. But if you're keeping all 47 of your loyal customers, you're never going to promote. So have a roadmap and know exactly what you need. And if you don't know exactly what you need, I am here. The team page is there. Feel free to ask your upline, whoever, me, it doesn't matter. Just do it. Just get there because if you don't have a roadmap, you're not going to go anywhere. All right. Give me a thumbs up if we're good. Yep. Okay. Anybody have any specific questions? You can stay on. Um, I got another Zoom that I'm doing for somebody else's team in like 15 minutes. So I got 15 minutes if you guys want to talk about anything. Nope, nobody. All right, well, you guys can go ahead and hop off if you don't have any questions. I'm gonna hang out just in case anybody does have a question. But thank you all for joining me and let's kick this month's butt. I cannot wait because this is our boom season. Tax time is like people are getting their taxes back every single day. So be on your A game because if you're not on your A game, somebody else is gonna sign that potential. Somebody else is gonna talk to that potential last. So just do it, suck up your tiredness and just do it. Get you some Dr. Pepper or some Mountain Dew or some energy drinks and just do it. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.